Hi all, welcome to another in a five minute chess nutshell. Let's have a look at Morozovic against Arakamia Grant's Ketvetian Ketevian. Uh, this is in the Lloyd's Bat Masters 1994. Uh, so e4 for Morozovic. c5, we have knight f3, knight c6. And now an anti Sveshnikov system, bishop b5 by Morozovic, quite annoying. The Moroz, uh, for, for the Sveshnikov player e6 castles knight ge7 rook e1 so the, the bishop can actually come back now and it does so and in fact after knight g6 usually you'd think this system the point is c3 and d4 but the ingenious thing I believe about this game is the knight placement which has been encouraged you'll see later that this is actually potentially a target uh, we see actually d4, so different treatment, just, just satisfied having a knight on g6, basically and treating it like a normal Sicilian. Uh, but Moroxy binds c4, that's one implication that the, the e4 pawn doesn't have to be defended. So setting up a bind and uh, putting some more pressure on these two key squares against b5 as well. Now knight b3 <coughs> keeps the tension on. Knight a5. That's actually taken here, and now a3 with b4 maybe on the cards. Note the queen can't skip over here because the queen's on h5. Queen goes back voluntarily, rook c1, b6, b4. So white's enjoying a space advantage. Black is preparing b5 still. f4. This shuts down a bit the knight, and you see now after queen b7, there's an ingenious move. In this position g3 which indirectly it targets this knight for h4 h5 and if you imagine h6 white is aiming to disrupt the three pawns around black's king if these pawns can be isolated then they're more easy to attack frontal attacks are much easier let's see b5 does white have to care about c4 actually he plays h4 ignoring that and black does not take on c4 but puts more pressure there to try and win that pawn h5 white just continues and goes with h6 just to try and damage these pawns around the king basically not minding about losing a pawn here this is now a gambit of this pawn but uh there's strong compensation hg king takes uh you see that this pawn they're, they're kind of more uh, fragmented but this pawn in particular this h file could be very very dangerous and we see that now with queen h5 there are various ideas like f5, but also any rook left on the h file is potentially dangerous. Bishop e8. We see f5. Yeah, the forces are, are getting coordinated here quite viciously. Knight d7. Rook e2. A powerful rook left. It's very, very logical to target the h pawn. Although the Moroxy bind was set up, it was only kind of only a way really of. The, the real intention was actually to damage black's king not to play a positional game <laughs> so an interesting use of this Moroxy bind uh, setup earlier knight f6 and this is actually fatal now for black white plays bishop h6 check after king h8 can you see what white plays to which there is no defense at all if i give you five seconds here what would you play with white Queen g5, yeah, the game abruptly ends here. There's no defense on g7. Shocking. Game ended here. Black can give up a piece, of course, but it's it's no good. You know, just give up a piece. No no realistic to keep in the game defense of g7. So another amazing attacking example from Rozovic, who makes attacks look easy. Some simple themes to his attacks, like form pawns here, the isolation of a pawn here for that h fold frontal attack. I hope you got something from it. Comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.